This is a patient with a large left-sided exudative septate pleural effusion. The effusion appears to be measuring more than 15 centimeters long and up to 7 centimeters in depth. Multiple thin septae or loculations are present throughout the collection. The pleural effusion is seen as an anechoic collection between the chest wall and the lung, displacing the lung medially with multiple echogenic uh, septations within the effusion. There are various types of pleural effusion. A transudative pleural effusion is caused by an imbalance of fluid pressure in the pleural space and is often due to conditions like uh, heart failure, liver cirrhosis or kidney disease. Uh, an exudative pleural effusion is a type of effusion seen and caused by inflammatory or infective processes such as pneumonia, cancer or tuberculosis. In this patient, COX or pulmonary tuberculosis is the most likely cause of the pleural effusion. Hemothorax is a type of pleural effusion that occurs when blood accumulates in the pleural space often due to trauma or injury. Chylothorax is a type of pleural effusion caused by the accumulation of lymphatic fluid in the pleural space and is often due to conditions like lymphoma or trauma. Empyema is a type of pleural effusion that occurs when pus accumulates in the pleural space and is often due to a bacterial infection. In an empyema, uh, abundant particulate matter or purulent material is present in the pleural effusion. A septate pleural effusion can be seen on ultrasound as multiple fluid pockets separated by echogenic septation. The symptoms in this patient include chest pain, shortness of breath and coughing. Treatment in this patient involves draining the fluid and treating the underlying cause, most likely tuberculosis or cox. In some cases, septate pleural effusion may be difficult to diagnose and imaging studies such as ultrasound, CT scan and MRI may be necessary. Early detection of such an effusion is essential to prevent complications such as pleural thickening and scarring of the lung tissue. Follow-up ultrasound imaging is essential to monitor the effusion and to ensure that it does not recur.